Hello everyone, a lead code a day. Today our question is lead code 482, license key formatting. And this is a Google interview question. As we can see, uh, Google has got this question for a lot of times recently. So let's look at the question. Um, given a non-empty string S and a number K, and we want to format the string, so how do we do that? Um, so given a number k, we, we want to reformat the string so that each group contains exactly k characters except for the first group, which could be shorter than k, but still must contain at least one character. And there must be a dash inserted between two groups, and we want to all the lowercase letters converted to uppercase. Uh, for example, for this case, uh, S is this string, and K is 4. So basically, we, uh, we reformat those four, uh, those four alphabetic, alpha numeric character into one group, and those four as another group, and insert a dash between those two groups. So the, the problem is, it doesn't have in contains a lot of algorithm behind it, but the tricky part is to implement it because there are a lot of edge cases to be considered. Uh, let's look at the solution first. Um, so the first step is definitely to uh, manipulate this string. So we want to uh, first replace all the dashes into empty because we wanna we don't count that as uh, in our uh, we only count the alpha numerical character to be reformed. Just insert some dashes between each of the group. And we also convert it to uppercase. Uh, because we actually we are uh, uh, a good strategy is to start from the end and then go to the front, right? Because uh, because the first group could can could be shorter than K, but for the other groups it's all k elements and we define result here um, and for this solution we use a count to actually it's a counter to check whether it's time for us to add a dash in our result and uh, it's straightforward right so for each of the element in in the string if the count has already reached k, then we append and we add a dash into the result, and we put count into zero. And after that, we will still put the element into the result and make count plus one, because we did it in a reverse order. So we have to reverse before we return it. So that's solution one. And for the time complexity, because we check each of the elements in the string, so it's a big O n, and n is the length of this string. Um, let's look at another solution. Um, similarly, we define a result, and we manipulate the string to replace it replace the dash into empty and put it into upper cases and also actually one edge case is if the s is empty then we can just return empty and for this case we import mass because actually we need we want to know how many groups there will be so this is the way uh, to calculate how many groups there could be uh, with with k division k length division for this string s and we use another for loop here so it's for for the num groups minus one uh, groups we just put the corresponding elements into the result and we also add a dash right uh, and after that because the first because the first group could be shorter than k so we don't 
we don't know how long exactly for the first group. So we just put the, all the remaining elements into the result. And then finally we return it. Still it's uh, uh, still it should be a reversed order. That's it for question 482. If you think this video helps, please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.